Hello and welcome to another YouTube video. Today I'm going to be unboxing some film that I ordered from B&H. So the YouTube uh, suggested video algorithms were on point and I saw a video pop up in my feed a few days ago that was a review of the Fuji Instax square format monochrome film. And I was super excited to see this because I I have the SQ6, I've been shooting with it since last year, and I also just love black and white film. So I hopped on to B&H and ordered some of the monochrome film, just um, 20 shots, 2 packs of 10, and I also got some expired film, uh, I got some of the black framed film, which you see here, and also some of the normal film. Uh, it's expired, but I think it's still good. Alright, so I popped the monochrome film into my camera and jumped outside to take a quick test shot. So we can just wait for this one to develop. I still haven't learned my lesson about taking photos of the sky, and this one, the sky at the top is overexposed. There's actually some really beautiful clouds out there, and you can see this black spot where the sun was, and the trees in the garage below is a little bit darker than I'd hoped. So not too great for a test shot, but um, it's a start. I mentioned at the start of the video that I love taking black and white photos and I used to, whenever I was in a, a big city or a city big enough to have a good well-stocked camera store, I would get these little disposable Ilford um, cameras and I thought I'd grab out some of the photos of those. These are just, um, they're just like a disposable camera with the Ilford black and white film in them. They're kind of red and stripy. I guess if you've used them, you know which ones I mean. They're really fun. Um, and I would always grab one of those and, and take some nice pictures. Some of them turn out, some of them not so great. Uh, but I just had so much fun with these. This one's of like Burley Griffin in Canberra. Lots of, <laughs> lots of really dark ones. Uh, this one here is my parents' dog, Peppy. He's very photogenic, so I had a bit of help there. I'm just going to run and grab a couple other black and white photos that I have. These ones I separated out because I was trying to do some <laughs> sketches of them. Um, so this, these are both in Melbourne. I'm pretty sure the first one that I showed of the market was actually taken by my brother, but I ended up with the photo, so I'll show it anyways. So this is where I keep my Instax photos. Um, I just keep them in this little box that my Bluetooth speaker came in. I thought I would show you some of the black framed photos that I've taken. I've only gone through maybe 20 photos like these. You can see that most of them I use the normal white framed film. Um, just so that you can get a feel for how, what the effect looks like and judge for yourself whether it's worth splurging on because I, I didn't mention this but I think the black framed film is usually a little bit more expensive than the white one. I think that the macros and flowers and plants and really bright subjects look really good in the black framed film. I really like this one. Um, this one's Craig waiting to get a burrito. Um, but some of the darker photos, like the first one that came out of the box that I didn't show you because it wasn't very good. And then some of these didn't turn out super well as a failed double exposure there. But I think I do like the effect of the black framed film. I just don't normally go out of my way to buy it. The ones I got in this order, I got really cheap and they expired about six months ago. So uh, that's, that's why they were so cheap. So I'm just going to put away some of the crappier photos that I have here and take out some of the more recent 
um, normal photos that I've taken just to kind of compare what a subject looks like in the black frame versus the white frame. Having a black desk for this is maybe not super great. Um, these ones not super good. There's a little sunset one that's quite pretty. My friendly, friendly neighborhood kitty. This one was on Christmas when it was nice and snowy. Christmas miracle. Actually, these two were both taken from our backyard, so you can kind of compare the snowy Christmas photo and the monochrome afternoon photo. Yeah, the monochrome, I think it would be better if I use it on less uh, high contrast situations. Mm. So I'm just picking out a few more photos to compare with the black framed photos. This is a nice macro. I'll give you a top down view of this grid in one hot second. So here's a look at some of the recent photos I've taken. Looking at them all next to each other, I do really like the black framed effect and I'm very glad that I just bought some more of these because I'm thinking, looking at these thinking to myself, maybe I should use this more often. Also bear in mind that the photos that I've been showing you there are my more successful shots and there have been times when I've failed, in this case four times, to take a photo of a pretty flower on a cactus. One of the more common comments on my previous video about the Instax was that people have problems with their photos turning out blurry. And I have that too. Um, the macros is kind of hard to judge how far away you need to be. And with basically all of those cactus photos, I was a little too close and the subject was too small. But despite this, I still love taking photos with this camera. So while I was filming this, we went out to grab some more burritos and I got another monochrome test shot. This one I think turned out way better. I'm gonna take some more photos over the next week. Uh, I'm planning on going on a trip to Palouse Falls. I'll pop the best photos that I get there up on my Twitter. So keep an eye out and thanks for watching this video.